here is this IC station module you can see this is the thermostat actually in this one and here is the IC station website address you can see uh, the thermostat is something very nice I tested it and I will show you in a little while the testing each and everything so you people must uh, be with video and uh, watch this video till end uh, so here is the description they have written a red green 12 volt in a digital temperature controller module with NTC waterproof temperature sensor thermostat switch so the regular price which they have given is um, something five dollar and ninety nine cents whereas in discount they are providing it for four dollar and forty nine cents so this is a reasonable price for this beautiful module and here you can see for this module um, there are a few pictures they have given and here is the specification this one is the specification they have given and here is the uh, image for this one you can see there is a red display which is showing the running temperature which is taken by this probe and here is the set point which you will set uh, for a desired uh, temperature to cl close this relay contacts and here are the four terminals these are the two relay terminals and here are the power supply terminals and this is the 12 volt module and here are a few ICs and these are the buttons three buttons through which you can set uh, the temperature settings for the uh, preset uh, sorry for the uh, set points and presetting uh, so this is the module and uh, hope you will like it and here is how it works friends here is the actual product you can see this is in packing and it is coming like this and here is the manual a little bit manual they have given in Chinese language but it is giving a little bit understanding this is 12 volt product actually you can see uh, the 12 volt uh, functionality makes it very very much uh, feasible for the car application and it is uh, very nice for the car application you can see here they have wrote uh, they have written something 220 volt 220 volt is not actually going direct to the unit here is a power supply they have applied and this is chinese language you can see 220, 220 volt to 12 volt power supply plus and minus they have given here and this uh, product is running actually out of 12 volt it is not running out of 220 volt but 220 volt can be applied to the relay here is the relay uh, and here in actual product just i'm going to give you a little demonstration you can see here is the relay and these relay contacts from here and here these contacts are coming here uh, to these two terminals which they have mentioned as k K0 and K1 something like that K0 and K1 K0 is here K1 is here here is the ground here is a 12 volt plus mm, these are the terminals so here you can apply 220 volt mm, on the relay contacts actually uh, which they have done over here and I, either you can use 220 volts here to control this relay outside and then further you can use the contact of this relay for your purpose and uh, here is another way in which you can control a 12 volt something relay like this one or a bigger relay um, than this one if you want to control 12 volt coil relay you can control by this 12 volt which is applied to the unit and this unit is actually what it is very very much beautiful unit you can see small I can put it on the palm very small size and there are four uh, screws attachment they have given so the holes for the screws actually and then the two displays are there which is uh, here is the actual temperature which is uh, measured by this probe this uh, PTC or NTC I think this will be NTC so this uh, temperature is coming over here the actual temperature and here is a set point set point you can set by these three keys I will show you each and every detail in this video how to set up the temperature the upper level actually you can set and on that temperature the relay uh, will switch on and it will alarm so if you are using this application this circuit in some application where you want to make a relay switch on on a certain temperature on a certain degree celsius temperature you want to switch it on so it will uh, so here the temperature while it will reach to the uh, set point which is over here on this display uh, so the relay will click this i will show and also it will make a contact here otherwise the contact will be open i will show you on the meter and i will give you all the demonstration about this the use of this in, in, this small circuit this is very very much nice and here is the temperature range they have given it is starting from something 
minus 50 degree Celsius to 110 degree Celsius plus so this is above the boiling temperature of water because the water boiling temperature is 100 degree Celsius as you know and minus 50 degree Celsius is somewhere in very very much cold areas but not over here in our area and there is a resolution of something they have written 0 0.1 degree Celsius which is very very much nice you can see and there is some tolerance they have given and 12 volt DC is the uh, whatever the voltage is and here is the NTC 10k which is this NTC as I discussed this NTC the sensor which is NTC uh, 10k okay something like that and B3950 is in the number for this one and L something like that I don't know what it is but anyhow it is and uh, this will be a nice uh, product you can see from the IC station just I will demonstrate uh, this was a little bit demonstration from this Chinese uh, manual which I just gave you from my understanding uh, anyhow if there is some mistake I can say sorry to you people mm, and okay now we are going to switch on this unit and then we'll test it uh, it is way way easy to switch this on uh, meaning to say how you will do it is somewhere I put it and this glow something like that I don't know why okay maybe it touch somewhere okay so these are the two wires which is bringing 12 volt I will show you while I will connect this I will measure this 12 volt on my meter also later on so okay uh, the plus will go here and the minus will go here so we will take care of the polarity and don't uh, reverse the polarity otherwise the circuit can be damaged something like that I don't know if it, uh, it is protected or not but uh, polarity care is a must in DC uh, products so uh, care is good thing uh, you must not burn a good circuit or, or a good module so this red one is positive actually and the black one is negative for me uh, as you can see this had been switched on while I connected the 12 volt uh, and on the displays you can see whatever is coming the temperature and the set points both are coming okay here you can see and now is the time to uh, fix this meter also I will try to fix the meter if the probes will go in here I'm, I don't know but I will I will try it so here is the actual temperature from the sensor and here is the set point set point can be set on these keys I will show you in a little while just uh, see the voltage over here so I will set the meter to the voltage to show you a 12 volt applied here so now you can see 11.97 volt or 12 volt supply is coming to the unit from my power supply so this is 12 volt and here no voltage I will see either here either here I will set I will check no voltage because this is the relay contact only there is no connection to the internal circuitry but to the relay context only here these two terminals are okay now I will set the meter to the continuity and will listen the beep as you can see and as you can listen the beep and you can see the zero reading here uh, I will connect my meter props to this unit if they will go in yeah it's easy it's not difficult they have been connected in also you will listen a click actually from the relay while it will be uh, switched on so now the temperature the actual temperature is 30 degrees and the set point is 35 degrees uh, we can set from here I'm just going to demonstrate how we can set it so press for a little while on the set like this now it is blinking so this is plus and this is minus this is increment this is decrement okay for a little while it will stay and then it will go to set point uh, it will set I mean to say the reading will be set so I will press on and then will increment this reading so you can see the points are incrementing actually but if I will hold it so it will increase very quickly something like this so I will decrease now you can see it is decreasing so I will decrease it to some point like 45 or something okay 40.45.0 degree celsius i will set okay here i will set and will press on set so it's had it had been set now the set point is 45.0 and actual temperature is 30 and it is going up and down which is measured by this 
empty C so if I will hold it it will increase as you know my body temperature is something 37 degrees Celsius so it is increasing but what I will do is I will increase it a little quicker and will increase it a little more than 37 so it will cross the 45 and then you will listen the beep on the meter and will listen the click also on the relay so I will put my soldering iron on the NTC to increase this temperature very quickly as you can see the temperature is climbing very very much quickly so while it will cross the 45 you can see you can listen it now while it crossed the 45 so it beep and the LED had been come on this small LED the blue LED as you saw and also the relay and the meter both you listened again I will try it so there is a tolerance actually as you saw it had not been clicked on 45 degrees but it had been uh, clicked on something 47 or something like that so there is a tolerance or a delay is there maybe I don't know either it is a tolerance either it is a delay I don't know but let us see we will check so while it will decrease to some degrees like 45 so it will switch off again the relay so let us see yeah so while it it decreased from 45 to 44 it switched off so again we will increase the temperature gradually gradually and okay so you can see it did not but maybe on 47 or something yeah 47 it clicked but it is okay if there is a there is a tolerance of 2 degrees Celsius it's not a problem at all you can use this circuit in many many applications like in car um, engine temperature here you can put this on the car engine sense uh, I mean to say on the car engine head and take the temperature from there and then um, switch on some fan or some cooling arrangement or some alarm you can make and then that alarm will alarm you that your engine temperature is going on and climbing on so it's dangerous so you should take some uh, preventive action so that the engine will not burn or it will not seize or it will not make any catastrophic failure uh, so this is the way we can use this circuit in many many applications especially for the engines or something like that so we can even increase the temperature just I will show you um, I will increase it to some very much useful uh, figure like uh, 70 degrees or something like that because on the engine you know the 80 degrees 82 degrees something like that is the temperature where the temperature the this is normal temperature for the engine something 82 degrees something like that is the normal temperature for the engine functionality so it will while it will cross the 80 degrees uh, maybe we will climb this temperature for, for the sensor above 80 degrees by this uh, soldering iron uh, so then yeah uh, as you see that while the temperature increased above 82 degrees it switched on the relay or it clicked the relay you can see yeah something 85 degrees so this is a tolerance is there actually so that tolerance you will keep in your mind while you will take this circuit so this much is okay it's, I am comfortable with this it's not a problem at all so below that temperature the relay will switch off and you will not take any alarm so this is the function of this small beautiful circuit and it's really useful uh, you can use it in many many applications as uh, you know I mean to say on your demand or on your requirement you can use it in your car on your generator or your engine on your diesel engine on your gas engines anywhere you can use this small gadget and it will be very very much useful for you so thank you for watching uh, keep on watching these IC station products are good they are working they are reliable and they are nice to use uh, stay tuned with my channel and subscribe uh, thanks once again